This video will illustrate how both radio systems, 800 MHz and VHF, may fail to perform when operating in certain environments, and how to recognize and overcome these radio communication challenges. We will continue to operate on our 800 MHz digital trunked radio system for medical and non-hazard zone calls. It is first important to recognize where radio communications may be potentially impaired. Examples of environments where radio communications may be hindered radio to radio and to and from alarm include basements, box canyons, water treatment plants, elevator shafts, specialized industrial buildings such as Intel, Orbital, and Boeing, hospitals, and cold storage facilities. When operating on our 800 MHz radio system, talk groups C-Deck 1 through C-Deck 13 must be within range of a radio tower in order to send and receive radio communications. If your radio cannot communicate with a radio communications tower, your radio will bonk, intermittently emit a low-pitched tone, and display an out-of-range indication. It will at times be necessary to conduct operations in an environment where talk groups CDEC 1 through CDEC 13 are out of range. In order to maintain radio communications amongst crew members and alarm, it will be necessary to set up a radio communications relay person. This person will require two portable radios when operating on the 800 MHz radio system. One radio will be used to maintain line of sight communications with crew members on one of our digital direct channels, see deck 14, 15, or 16. And the other portable radio will remain on the originally assigned response channel to maintain communications with alarm and order any additional resources. Portable 210 to engine 210. As additional resources enter an area beyond the reach of our 800 megahertz trunked radio system, they should be directed by the relay communications person to switch over to the appropriate digital direct channel. See deck 14, 15, or 16. Hazard zone incidents, such as fire alarm indications and structure fires, will be assigned to a VHF response channel. These VHF channels will be VDEC 1, VDEC 2, VDEC 3, and VDEC 5 in the Mesa Regional Dispatch System and announced as fire channel B1. Fire Channel B2, Fire Channel B3, and Fire Channel B5 upon dispatch. VHF radios are analog simplex. They do not require a radio tower in order for radios to communicate with each other on the fire ground. But you may not be able to hear or communicate with the alarm room or command when operating in the same environments where 800 megahertz would also be out of range. As with 800 megahertz, it is important to recognize when entering into environments where VHF radio communications with alarm or command may be difficult or impossible. It is important to note that VHF radios will not display an out of range indication or emit a bonk tone when out of range. Subsector 1 to command. Subsector 1 to command. When you are unable to reach alarm or command on VHF, a radio communications relay person should be established quickly especially within the hazard zone, where a loss of radio communications with a crew may necessitate a mayday from Sub command to a loss. I'm going to back out until I can establish comms of command, and then I'll be a relay for you. Subsector 1 copies. You're going to back out and establish a relay. Be advised, we've got an all clear on the basement. And Unlike 800 megahertz, when operating on VHF, only one portable radio is required in order to relay radio communications from a forward crew or sector to command or alarm. In this case, subsector one is relaying their PCAN report to safety and safety to command. I've been in contact with subsector one. They can't communicate with you. I'm gonna establish a relay. Command copy safety. Uh, you're gonna back out and establish a relay for communications. Subsector 1 reports that they have no smoke, no fire, they don't find any hazard. Command copy safety, Subsector 1's reporting no smoke, no fire, no hazardous conditions found. Safety to Subsector 1. Go ahead, Subsector 1. I've relayed your report of no findings to command. He has no additional orders. 
you don't find any hazard, you can reassemble and go available. Subsector 1 copies will reassemble the crew. And In summary, both radio systems will at time require a radio communications relay person be established in order to maintain communications on scene and accountability of members operating within the hazard zone. Recognize environments before entering where radio communications may become limited or non-existent. Understand how to overcome these challenges on both radio systems. Responding command and safety officers must be prepared to adapt to radio communications challenges and know which VHF channels and 800 MHz talk groups are available for use in these types of situations.